Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching me, welcome. First of all, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to any of you guys watching who celebrated in the festivities of today. It is Thanksgiving evening and we just got home from my mother-in-law's who hosted dinner this year. And we had a beautiful day filled with food and laughter and family and friends um, and just too much food, too much desserts, and uh, but never too much of a good time. So got to see my uh, sister and brother-in-law's, my nieces and nephews, and my mom and my mother-in-law. So I um, just wanted to... Uh, say this is my highly anticipated on my part and probably yours if you're watching this my video of my haul from teddy bees teddy bees of course is owned by tiffany smith from houston texas teddy bees has grown exponentially the last few pre-orders i think this past time there were some records broken being uh, the largest pre-order ever and i definitely know christmas trees and creams we ordered just a little bit of that. Um, I have a couple of those items in here and I'm just going to, you know, dive right in. Um, <clears throat> I did get this order late on uh, Tuesday evening. I did not have an opportunity to film this yesterday because I had to prepare uh, some goodies for today. So here we are um, as promised. So each order, I will say I have not smelled a thing. I haven't even looked at anything in this box. I just cracked open the box pulled back the bubble wrap and pulled off the card in the top here. Uh, this is the welcome card that she, um, well, the thank you card, I should say, has all of her social information on here. Facebook group, if you're new to Teddy Bee's, um, her little her little bee down there, which is her logo. Then on the back here are some tips and tricks for getting the best experience out of her wax. Um, if you are a subscriber of mine or watch my um, chop and chat videos or my Teddy Bees hauls or even my warm reviews, my, my melting bat, my, my weekly wax reviews, um, <clears throat> empties, there we go. Um, I have talked a long time about how less is more with me with Teddy Bees. Uh, that changes based on the oils that are in the blend. You know, some oils are just not gonna be powerhouses. So if you're struggling with throw from Teddy Bees, especially bakery, just remember sometimes her, her bakery blends tend to be richer and heavier in vanilla. And I myself struggle with a lot of bakery blends from Tiffany's uh, wax, but I have found letting those cure a longer period of time, even a couple of months, helps a little bit. So I've just been um, watching a lot and reading a lot in the Facebook group, you know, the Teddy Bees group, and also reading your comments on my videos, especially about Teddy Bees. And I just wanted to, to get that out the door before I dive into this wax. So uh, thank you card is talked about. Let's go, shall we? Okay, this pre-order. Uh, I did, I was part of the live panel um, that Martha, uh, Martha Green hosted several months ago, a few days before the pre-order. Actually, um, it was the Friday that the pre-order opened. Teddy Bee's pre-orders usually open on Fridays. So uh, there were seven of us. I don't remember everybody that was on that video right now. I'm sorry. I know most of them, but I don't want to forget anybody. So um, if you watch that video, you, you know the participants. Uh, we all talked about everything on the pre-order list and we, we, we made decisions right then and there. And then there's me who I wait to the last minute on pre-orders because I really, it's not that I'm indecisive. It's just, I really want to make sure that I am getting everything that I want in the size that I want. And historically, I have said I only purchase souffles, really. I, I, I save the tubs and the loaves for blends I'm really in love with. However, this past pre-order, as you know, it seems like every time Tiffany's lists just get harder and harder to choose because they are all just fantastic scents. At least I speak for myself and I know I'm speaking to a lot of you out there too, especially if you're viewing this video and um, I know there are a lot of you have been asking, where are the videos for Teddy Bee's hauls? And I know Saturday is the ready to ship. So I haven't decided if I'm going to be grabbing anything from the ready to ship, but that might change by the end of this video, depending on what types of sniffs I get out of this box. And I bet I'm going to, I bet I'm going to want to, but I'm trying to be good. I really am trying to be good guys. So, um, I did get a good bit of tubs this time. 
because I already knew just some of these blends, as you see, if you know me, you know my personality, you know my melting habits, you know my scent preferences, I'm a little bit all over the place. Um, you know, I, I tend to, I will melt anything once. I like bakery, I love earthy, I love fruity, I love sensual, I love, you know, spicy. I love a little bit of everything. So I think that that makes it hard because you want to buy everything, but easy because I, you know, I think this sounds good. This sounds good. And, you know, I, I, I like a lot of things. So, I mean, I hope that, I hope I'm portraying that, that correctly, trying to explain that. So here we go into the wax. I just had to get a little bit of housekeeping off the bat here. So, um, I do have my water bottle here. Had a lot of salt today, guys. Lots of salt in that gravy. Lots of salt in those potatoes. So have a little bit of water here with me in case, because this is going to be a, a big video. So um, this video is, uh, well, actually not video. This order is come UPS. And it's the first time in my uh, year and a half of purchasing from Teddy Bees that I have a UPS order. It was about 14 pounds. And that's big for me. Uh, not as big as some of your hauls out there, but big for me. So here we go. The first one I purchased here is Christmas is coming. And as you know, if you, if you are a, or a shopper of Teddy Bees, uh, the souffles come in these beautiful, um, I don't want to, I guess they're tin containers. I don't really know how else to describe them. Um, I do know that Second and Spruce uses something similar to this, as does Swanky. She uses the same, the same vessels that these are in. Each label has different font on it, and the description here on the label, there it's focusing, it was, yeah, and there's a date on here, the pour date. This card suggests that one waits at least two weeks after the date on here because this is the pour date. So this one here is warm gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar pastries, fluffy waffles covered in powdered sugar, hints of cedar, and Fraser fir. Little bit of everything in this, but the one that really grabbed me was that gingerbread. I love gingerbread. In fact, I was melting gingerbread last night when I was making my mom's cranberry. I had gingerbread going. I had holiday nest going. I had lots of fun things. I had a, I had a music party last night. I put my music on, my playlist on the TV through YouTube. I play my music. I dance. I have a good old time. One of my happiest places is in the kitchen. And I love gingerbread. Gingerbread just gives me a homey feeling. So when I saw this, and I and I don't remember if these are new blends or old blends. Some of the some of the some of the ones I've purchased before, yes, but some of these ones I do not remember if these are new blends. I haven't looked I looked at the list since I made my purchase, so I do apologize. I can't provide that information. But this Christmas is coming. I oh. Each souffle comes decorated so beautifully with a little bit of glitter, a little bit of a little bit of glam. And on the bottom, which I'm not going to take out here, there's always a surprise on the bottom. Some of them are plain. Some of them, um, most of them have a little bit of glitter, a little bit of glam on the bottom. So what I'm getting from this one here is a beautiful, 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 just medley of gingerbread with fur, that tree. And I'm getting sweetness from that cinnamon sugar. I'm getting waffles. I don't know if this is pumpkin pecan waffle or if this is a Belgium waffle or what type of waffle oil this is. I dare say it's similar to the fluffiness of pumpkin pecan waffles, but I do not remember if this is or not, or excuse me, know what oil this is. The gingerbread is not overpowering. It's not your traditional molasses heavy, ginger heavy, uh, clove heavy gingerbread because it has fur. It's creamy. It's rich. It's luscious. This is great. I love this blend. This is, it's soft. It's delicate. But with some cure time, this one was poured on October 30th. He's a month old. So this one is ready to go. But I think... Just for the name, I'm going to save this for Christmas week. So Christmas is coming. I haven't done my uh, chop and chat for December yet because it's not quite December. So I'm going to have some teddy bees uh, in my December batch for my chop and chat. I didn't do any in, um, I didn't do any in November's chop and chat, but I, cause I did, I did chop up a good bit in October, but I'm going to be doing some more in December.
because I got a got a large order here. This next one has had a lot of talk in the Facebook group these past uh, days since you guys have been receiving your orders. This is brown butter and praline. So I had to grab this because I love brown butter for one. Brown butter is delicious. If you've ever cooked with brown butter or made brown butter, try it with over gnocchi with a little bit of sage. If you've ever had that, it's it's primo, primo. Gnocchi are potato or little potato pillows, Italian, fantastic. They cook in a couple of minutes, cook some brown butter, give it a try. However, that is the nutty, savory side of brown butter. This is sweetened up to be a bakery. I believe this was a new blend. This is a blend of praline candy, vanilla cream, toasted pecans, melted butter, and the slightest warmth of cinnamon in the background. So I did, I did see where a lot of you might not necessarily have cared for this on cold, but on warm, it's just blossom. And that's the case for any blend. Don't judge your blend on cold, unless it's absolutely a note that you're not going to like. If you get a random act of kindness or a mystery box and it's, you know, if you get something and you just absolutely, you know, it's polarizing to you. I understand that. But if you're on the fence with something or you're not quite sure what it's going to be like, melt it, warm it, let those oils hit the heat. So this here is pretty, pretty flat on cold, if I must say, but I can see what one means when they say this needs heat because I'm sure all of these blends that are just underneath the surface just needs a little bit of heat to pop up. You know, it's, it's kind of like popcorn. You got to add heat to it to get it to pop open. It doesn't smell like anything when it's just the kernel. You have to add heat to get it to smell great. It's, a, I mean, I know it's a stupid analogy, but that's how my brain works sometimes. And that's how I'm trying to explain it to you. So this here, I can't really describe to you what this one is like. I don't want to say it's perfumey, but it has a little bit, a little hint of femininity to it. A little hint of perfumey. I don't even want to say it's like Boom Boom Cream because it's it's not like Boom Boom Cream. And it's not like Angel Share, which has praline in it. It's not like that. This, I know is going to have to be warmed because it has, it has potential. I know it does. I'm going to have to just get back to you on this one when I warm this one up. This one was poured on October 20th, so that one is ready to go. Um, some of these complicated, complex blends that I purchased from Tiffany, she's very, very good, in my opinion, of those complex blends and those, those blends where you would never thought to put those oils together. She excels. She's just through the roof with her blending skills. So I think that one is a sleeper scent on cold, definitely. This next one is Witches Be Crazy for Eggnog. So this here has Witches Be Crazy, which, if you watch my channel, I've said this probably 15 times, Witches Be Crazy is my hands down all time favorite blend of any vendor in the wax world. And not just bakery, any blend. It's fantastic, it's perfect to me. I fell in love with it um, in winter of 2022 when I started buying from Teddy Bees and I have had it in my collection ever since. This one is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla. That is the Witches Be Crazy part. Blended with both vanilla eggnog and buttered rum eggnog. So she's got the double whammy there with that eggnog, which I love eggnog. Eggnog. I have eggnog in my refrigerator downstairs. I need to drink it because it expires in a few days. <laughs> but I love eggnog. Um, this one here, I forgot to take this, um, brown butter and praline out of the package to show you the, to show you the glam on it. But this is, uh, just a little bit of glitter, a little bit of gold to match that green beautifully. Whereas this one here, she's sticking to the neutral, those little, uh, brown flecks and the tan flecks. But let me tell you here, guys, this is so damn good. Worthy of a damn, so damn good. This smells... If you like Witches Be Crazy, how it has that heft, it has that that boldness, that rich, creamy, awesome. I don't really like using the word awesome, but it's an awesome bakery blend. It's rich, like I said. It's bold, like I said. It's, it's hefty, like I said. 
and you add eggnog to it. This is the perfect balance between vanilla, creamy eggnog, and a little bit of boozy eggnog. This is not knock you down in your nose booze. You have a little babyest hint of that rum in there, but that Witches Be Crazy is so rich that it blends in beautifully with it. It's just like another note of vanilla that blends with all of those notes that are in Witches Be Crazy. I love this. This is so good. It's going to be gorgeous. This is not necessarily a winter blend to my nose because eggnog, I wish they sold eggnog all year, but I mean, I guess it would lose the, I guess it would lose the, the specialness that's around it because you can only get it one time of year. I love eggnog. I wish they sold it all year, like I said, but this, this is going to be enjoyed in my home in the coming months. Definitely love that one. I failed to say that um, all of Tiffany's orders come beautifully nestled in these boxes with this brown craft paper like this that my cat goes crazy over. So I always have to hide those from her. Um, she does put a couple samples in your package. I got my first sample here. This might be the only one in the box. I guess it depends. Sometimes I've gotten two um, samples. Sometimes I just get one, which is, which is, which is very generous to me. Um, this is Witches Be Crazy for eggnog. So I might as well talk about it now because I just talked about that scent. I usually reserve my samples for last, but in this case here, we're going to keep on going. Okay. Ooh, Catacomb of the Witch. Catacomb of the Witch. I believe this scent was new poured for the last ready to ship. So sometimes Tiffany, she pours a handful of limited edition scents for a ready to ship after a pre-order closes, uh, not closes, but, you know, finalizes shipping and such. Um, this was one from last time and it was so popular that it made the pre-order list. This here is Dark Plums, Rich Vanilla, Black Amber, Bonfire Bliss, and Vanilla Woods poured on September 29th. So this one is ready to go. Let's see what this one is here. Oh, first of all, I have to, I really have to say, I love this color. This is a rich berry color, wine color, kind of similar to what I'm wearing today. I love this color that I'm wearing. I just must say it's my favorite rich jewel tone of the season. And anytime I have wax that is similar to this, I just love it. I mean, it, it's beautiful to me. I love violets and pinks and purples and such. Um, I just, they, they are I think they're my color. I really do. Like, like you know, if you ever watch ASMR and you see the, the color matching, you know, where they look at the undertones in one's skin to see if they look better in, are you a winter? Are you a spring? Are you an autumn? Or are, you a, are you a summer? You know, are, are you better with warm? Are you cool? I just find I, I've always been attracted to the shade that I'm wearing in this right here. So I feel... I don't know. It's silly, I'm sure, but that's just a little idiosyncrasy with me, I guess. This, anything that Tiffany pours with plum in it, I'm going to buy 99% of the time because that plum is so rich. It's not a bakery plum. It is a fruity plum and it's very plummy. <laughs> that's my word is plummy. Plummy just means happy, joyful. Um, it is mixed with black amber a little bit of vanilla woods, but this is a rich, dark, mysterious, sensual blend, I would say. I love this. This is similar, similar, not identical, of course, but similar to Midnight Rosewood. If you saw, my video of Ro Ro Midnight Rosewood and even Plum and Peppercorn, uh, Plum and Peppercorn has a little bit more saffron in it and it, it's 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 spicier but this is along those lines of those earthy mysterious blends this is catacomb of the witch i like this one i really think like i said tiffany excels beautifully in all of her blending but i really feel she's fantastic at this the sensual mysterious earthy complicated blends that, that's just that's just my opinion and now having multiple pre-orders under my belt oh this next one surfside sweet shop this is an og scent been around forever this is birthday cake marshmallow cream butter cookies cake batter and beach treats which is her version of beach nights this was poured on november 1st this one 
is one of her most popular scents. For a while there last year, I believe this was offered in every pre-order because it's just, it's a classic bakery scent with beach nights. This is not similar to, see, to me, I have a lot of wax friends and we talk about beach nights and some of you guys think that this beach night smells just like Julie from Sassy Girl Aromas. I don't. Julie's is different. This is a creamier version of beach nights. This is fantastic too. Um, this is a, a blend. I'm getting the rich butter cookies. I get the cake. It's just, it, you have to know what Tiffany's Beach Treat smells like to know if you would like this blend. But, you know, if you're on the fence with this and you didn't grab it in the pre-order and you're interested, try and grab at least a souffle of it and just see what this is all about. Because this is a bestseller for a reason. It's offered time and time again. This Surfside Sweet Shop, I don't know if she's blended it with anything or if it just stands alone all the time. I, I do not remember that or no. But look at that beautiful, bright, vivid blue. The other time I purchased Surfside Sweet Shop, I believe those those souffles were blue as well. So this is a classic. This is loved by many, many, many of you guys. So this is Surfside Sweet Shop. Okay, next we have Kiss Me Goodnight. Kiss Me Goodnight. This one has had a little bit of talk in the group. This is cozy cashmere blankets, warm, slightly woody notes. Mixed with vanilla, hints of plum, and hot tea with warm amber. So, lots going on here. And this is one of uh, this is one of Tiffany's sensual blends. This is beautiful here. Look at that little bit of oh, that's a gorgeous shot right there. Love that. It's like the night sky with those uh, constellations and galaxies and all sorts of things that are mysterious from above. Um, this is. I don't even know how to describe this to you in words, but I'm going to try. If you smelled fuzzy socks, if you have fuzzy socks, um, I just finished that up actually. It's, it's, it's fluffy socks, which I don't really know what that oil is supposed to smell like, but it just evokes a coziness, a blanket. Like this even says cozy cashmere blankets. So she has her cashmere component in there. Her cashmere blends are gorgeous, hands down gorgeous. They're rich and they're comforting and cozy and they just make you want to curl up. They really do. This, I'm getting a little bit of tea. I'm not quite sure what tea, but it's, it's not a black tea. It's not a white tea to me. It's not a Roy Boss. It's not, it's not even green tea. It's not something that's strong. That's, that's, that's distinctly identifiable. You know what I mean? This is very light I'm not getting lavender or anything, so it's not a lavender tea, but I'm getting, I get the wax on my nose. <laughs> so I'm really deep in thought here. That's what I'm trying to do. This is, this is cozy. This is gorgeous. This is relaxing. This is definitely a bedtime blend. Definitely a bedroom scent, if even, even if not even, maybe not bedtime, but just a bedroom scent. This is just sensual. It's relaxing. It's cozy. It's comforting. It's, it's all of those things. How can you describe what cozy means in, in, in terms of, you know, trying to, uh, trying to explain it to somebody? It, it's, it's very, it's very hard. So if, if you have fuzzy socks, this is like a cousin of fuzzy socks. It has that I've said this a thousand times, a cozy, a cozy factor. So forgive me for not being able to put that one into words. It's, it's one you just might have to try out if you're interested. Okay, next. Ooh, this one is highly anticipated. I cannot wait to smell this one. This is Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio. Now, you know I'm a pistachio lover. I have had pistachio in my life for years since I was a kid. Pistachio pudding, jello pistachio pudding. And I had pistachio cake with cinnamon sugar and all of those yumminess. I love pistachio. And it's no surprise, I melt pistachio in my home. I've had one other pistachio blend from Tiffany and it was pistachio, I think it was pistachio dream cookies, something like that. I was not impressed with that because it had her signature sugar cookies in it, which to me is just creamy. It doesn't, I don't even smell much. I'm not 
I'm not one that gravitates and buys a lot of those signature sugar cookies or the circus cookie blends just because my brain just can't pick up on it smelling like anything. And I know I'm in the minority of that because there are plenty of you out there that love the sugar cookie blends. I wish I could smell it. I really wish I could smell it. It is just a heavy, creamy, creamy. It's, it's creamy. It's like whipped cream. It doesn't, it just doesn't really have a scent. It's just creamy. <laughs> it's rich. So let's see what this one is. This is, of course, Witches Be Crazy, which again is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. Let's see here. This is nice. This is nice. This pistachio ice cream. I love that she made this the true pistachio color. Like, you know, the, the pistachio pudding that we all know is this color. And um, oh, this is good. I'm getting Witches Be Crazy heavy. And I'm getting the creaminess of the real true pistachio nut. This is not cherry to me. This is almondy. Not amaretto almond and not heavy in your face almond. But pistachio can take on an almond or a cherry vibe to a lot of noses. I tend to go almond or creamy, especially when the oil is true to the nut, which this oil is. Um, this was one I even asked Desi before the pre-order ended, you know, I really, the last pistachio blend I got, I wasn't impressed with. I, the, the pistachio, I, I couldn't really pick it out. Is this oil the same? So she got back to me and said that there's a mix of oils in this one. It's not just one pistachio oil. It's a blend of oils. So I really, 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 really love that Tiffany added in that pistachio ice cream oil. Because if, if, I'm, if I'm guessing, the pistachio ice cream is a Bath & Body Works scent. It, it, at least it used to be. They might have retired it. This is what I'm smelling in here when I'm smelling that pistachio component. It's creamy, it's light, it's almondy, but it also has the true pistachio scent to it. Oh, this is nice. Very creamy, very luxe. Woo, man down. I know April Lee likes this scent. So I really, I don't know if, honestly, you wanna know something crazy? I wasn't gonna get this. I really, I didn't have this on my list, but then I thought, you know, she doesn't do a lot of pistachio blends. I just got to grab it. So I did. And I'm happy I did. Okay. I'm going to try to see if there's any more souffles in here. Just to keep it, uh, keep it, <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. Sugar chestnuts and apple butter is the next one here. Sugar chestnuts and apple butter. This one is apple butter, brown sugar. Toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. Okay, this one was poured on 1023, and the pistachio blend was poured on November 1st. Okay. Kiss Me Goodnight was poured on October 13th, my wedding anniversary. So, <laughs> okay. This one here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous color. Look at the constellation of glitter there. Okay. This is, this is delicious. Oh. Apple butter, but not being too aggressively apple. It's not Mac apple. No way. It's not even green apple. It's a beautiful, creamy apple. It's almost, it's almost like if you cook apples down for applesauce, you know, you let those, you let the, the the flesh just cook down the sugar start to break down like that type of sweetness of the apple it's not a fresh apple do you know what i mean like it's a softer apple that's the apple part i'm getting from this i'm getting the brown sugar it's 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 a creamy rich brown sugar chestnuts are there too i love chestnuts in wax i love chestnuts in real life it's chestnuts roasting on an open fire season <laughs> anyways i am getting clove but not heavy. Clove can go south so quickly, in my opinion. And notes of spice. This spice here 
It's similar to apple pie spice, but sometimes apple pie spice can have an off-putting vibe to my nose. And even though apple pie spice is heavy on cinnamon and there's a couple of other things in there, I haven't looked at apple pie spice lately. But it's I'm not getting heavy cinnamon or anything. It's it's brown sugar. It's rich. It's creamy apple. It's chestnut. It's damn good, if I must say so. That's a beautiful blend. So glad I grabbed this one. This is sugared chestnuts and apple butter. Okay, next we have gingerbread ice cream cake. Gingerbread ice cream cake. This one here, sweet buttercream layered between warm white cake and vanilla ice cream topped with loads of gingerbread crumbs poured on October 4th. So this one is ready. Let's see what this one is beautiful orangish color there with the, the tan glitter this is this is delicious this is very good too this is not an aggressive um heavy ginger heavy molasses heavy clove gingerbread this is not even buttery gingerbread Have you ever smelled that oil out there it's it's which is like a it's a it's a weaker version of regular gingerbread in my opinion that's how i would describe it this is white cake buttercream with a little bit little bit of essence of gingerbread so definitely if you've ever had gingerbread ice cream i think um edie's or dryers here if you're on the west coast edie's or dryers used to have a uh, gingerbread ice cream that was phenomenal and i don't even know if they make it anymore um I don't buy ice cream that much because it tends to get eaten all at one time by yours truly. So I just, it's, <laughs> I know, hey, hey, I know plenty of you out there have done the same thing. Um, if I do buy ice cream, I tend to buy a pint or I go to Dairy Queen or somewhere and I just get a cone because it's just one of those things I just can't have in my home. However, this reminds me, if you get a nice big old bowl of vanilla ice cream, and you put a little bit of gingerbread in it and you mix it up. Soft gingerbread, not necessarily crunchy gingerbread. Soft gingerbread and you mix it up and you let those spices and those that molasses marry beautifully with that rich cream of the vanilla ice cream. That's what this is. This is nice. It's not spicy. It has, there is, there is spice to this. So I don't want you to think that there isn't. There is spice. It has to. It's gingerbread. There has to be spice in there. But it's not hot spice. And it's not super, super strong. It's very, it's done very tastefully. Fantastic job on this one, Tiffany. I think that's an older blend. Okay. Next souffle here is Country Christmas. Country Christmas. Looking forward to this one here. This is balsam fir, butter cookies, sweet spruce, and a hint of cinnamon and clove. So fir with the cookies, pine with the cookies. So this one here is similar to old school Christmas. Similar, not, not identical, similar. I am, I'm, I'm emphasizing that because old school Christmas is, has more pine to it to my nose and it's I don't remember the notes of old school Christmas right now but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have cookies in it this is pine a little bit of creamy cookie a little bit of sweet spruce I love spruce I sometimes don't always want a super duper piney blend but I I love the fact that there's extra cinnamon there's extra clove this is a classic Christmas this is almost like a a craft store Christmas, but, but, you know, not as heavily knock you down in the face as those cinnamon pine cones that are, you know, in, in the bags that are sold at craft stores, which my mother used to buy growing up and I love them, but now it's too, it's too powerful cinnamon for me. And I don't have a fireplace in my home where I live. And I just would want to have them in a fireplace in a basket, kind of like I had uh, in my home growing up. So I love that this was tastefully done with a nice balance of that clove and spices. And this is, this is a nice, um, homey filling scent. Okay. Next we have, Ooh, Christmas trees and cream. Tiffany sold out of this blend actually. 
Uh, we ordered so much of it. I got a souffle. And then the morning that she closed her pre-order, I think she, you know, she closed it on Saturday night. And then she opened it back up for a little bit in the morning to get a couple more orders in. Um, I purchased a tub of tr Christmas trees and cream. So, so that's in, that's in here somewhere. So when I get to that, I won't have to talk about it. And here is another sample in here. So we'll see what that one is. Okay, Christmas trees and cream is fresh pine, vanilla waffle cone, and rich buttercream. It's simple, but it's beautiful. This has usually been offered, I've had this alone, and I've had this blended with crushed candy cane. And I believe in this pre-order, Tiffany offered both of them, just not together. So some of you purchased the crushed candy cane to blend with this guy, so you could have your blended scent, which I, I didn't do that this time, because I think I have one more souffle in my collection of the um, Christmas trees and cream with crushed candy cane. So this one here, is it's creamy pine that's basically all there is to it i'm not getting too much waffle cone that's just there for a little bit of extra richness extra vanilla that comes out a little bit a little bit more on warm but not too much it's just it's just vanilla basically you have your buttercream and you have your pine the butter buttercream to my nose naturally has a little bit of a fruity a fruity essence to it not necessarily apple or orange or cherry or or anything like that it's just it has a little bit of a sweeter fruitier vibe to it i'm not getting that so much in here but i can tell it's a rich buttercream because that pine it's it's almost it's almost like you have heavy rich whipping cream like my mother-in-law made homemade whipped cream tonight like she usually does like you have that where you whip up your whipping cream and you put your sugar in it and you put your vanilla in it and the train's going to go by here in a second um but you but you put pine in there with it so you have the richness and the sweetness of that buttercream, even though it's even though whipping cream isn't buttercream. You know, you get what I'm saying. You add a little bit of pine into your creaminess, and that's what you get here. So I'm happy that I actually got a tub of this because this is a beautiful blender as well. And not only that, look at those beautiful glitter here. I love the gold and the green together. Such traditional Christmas colors. Love it. Had to buy a new Christmas tree this year. Uh, my little Christmas tree last year died. It was a fiber optic Christmas tree I got at Target. I want to say in 2010. I know, it, ancient. Um, and it died on Christmas morning last year. So I <laughs> had to get a new tree this year. Um, I do have a large tree. But most of you know I have a cat. And she is the most curious cat in the whole world. She's smarter than a human. And I'm pretty sure my instinct, my gut is telling me that Poppy would knock my tree down. And I don't want her to get hurt for one. And two, I frankly don't want to clean it up. And three, I don't want my, I don't want my stuff to get ruined. So I'm doing a three foot tree this year, which is a little bit of an increase in size. I'm going to see what she does with this one. And then maybe, depending on how she does, I might bring my big boy out next year. We'll see. Uh, next one is blueberry dump cake. This was one that went off and on my list. I had it on my list and I took it off my list and I put it back on because I have to remember I live with a husband who likes blueberry and you can never have enough blueberry blends in my home, in my opinion. Uh, this one, uh, Christmas trees and cream, I think I said was poured back on October 8th. She got the most popular one out of the way quickly. So uh, this is fresh blueberries, crispy cake topping, hints of warm spice and vanilla poured on October 2nd. So this one's ready to go too. Let's see here. Oh, I'm glad I got this one. That beautiful. I love this. I just, I love, I love blue. I went through a phase in my life where blue was my favorite color. I think I was in college when blue was my favorite color. I wore red all the time because I went to Ohio State, so red, scarlet, excuse me, it's not red, it's scarlet. Scarlet and gray are the colors. So, but red, you know what I mean. This, oh, blueberries, fresh blueberries. She is true with saying fresh blueberries. Re, um, uh, correct with saying not true, but you know what I mean. Uh, blueberry compote even just rich and heavy and luscious 
mixed with a little bit a little bit of spice you know when you have your when you cook your blueberries put a little bit of cinnamon in your blueberries it just accents the natural um, flesh of the fruit that's just my experience um, in the kitchen this has a little bit of vanilla to it and crispy cake topping I don't know if that's supposed to be a streusel or a crumble or what that's supposed to be but I am getting a little bit of cakiness from here and it's good this is really yummy I'm glad I got this one. Thank you, universe, for having me put this back on my list. <laughs> Woo! Man down. Oh, my first casualty of the evening. Darn. That's okay. He just was so excited to get warmed, he didn't want to go back in his home. So. <laughs> oh, man didn't have a turkey coma this year because, you know, I don't really care for turkey. I'll eat turkey breast lunch meat, but the actual real bird, I'm not a fan of. You know, I have a little bit of dark meat, which is really weird because when I was younger, I wanted nothing to do with dark meat. Dark meat was reserved for my dad. He loved the dark meat. And I thought, you know, the dark meat was weird, but now if I'm going to eat turkey, I love the dark meat because it just has more flavor in it. Same with chicken. I eat chicken thighs most of the time because it's got the, got the flavor in it. Okay. Next, I got, oh, I got a duplicate of Surfside Sweet Shop. And I got a duplicate of Country Christmas. I don't remember buying these duplicates, but I probably did because, <laughs> you know... I did buy a lot here. Train's gonna go by here as you guys can hear. Let's see if I have any more souffles in here. I think I do have a couple. And then I have my tubs. Okay. Last souffle that I can see here, unless there's a couple more buried in the box. This is Harvest Cider and Birch. This one also got a lot of talk in the last couple of days. This is Plums dark cherries, vanilla birch, peppered woods, and warm pomegranate cider. So, this one, I had to grab this because, first of all, I love cider scents. And it had plum in it. And it had peppered woods. Pepper, plum, love it. And like I said, I buy a lot of plum blends that Tiffany offers. And it has pomegranate. This is, this is, this is just, everything in here is right up my alley. All these notes here, if I can get close enough there. These are just right up my alley. This is gorgeous. This was poured on October 4th. This is fruity with a little bit of woodsiness to it. And I can smell the birch. It's not, it's not, it's not, sometimes I don't really care for birch, but it's not like that in this blend. It's, it's, it's mixed with that rich pomegranate cider. I love pomegranate. It's one of my favorite fall and winter fruits. I love it. It's rich. It's bold. It is, it's, it's rich like cherry juice. You know, if you ever drank pomegranate juice, of course it's, it's rich like that, but in wax, it comes across as just, it's, it's gorgeous. It's fruity. It is wonderful in cider blends. I'm not getting too much cherry. I'm getting plum juice and pomegranate and a little bit of woodsiness to it. I like this blend a lot. I think I did get two Surfside Sweet Shops. I'm pretty sure I did, but Country Christmas, I don't remember buying that one, but I probably did, like I said. Okay, let's go into the tubs. Okay, I'm gonna stretch my leg out here. sitting on the floor. I think I'm getting a little too old to sit on the floor. Okay. Christmas past. Christmas past. This one is holiday cinnamon, fallen leaves, crisp apples, crushed pine needles, and hints of sweet balsam. I must say it's getting real now because I'm into the tubs. So <laughs> these are the ones I'm serious about. Okay. It's easier to see in the tubs, of course. The glitter here on the top, let me show you this here. I love that she stuck with traditional Christmas colors here. 
down on the bottom, we have a little bit of fun, a little bit of glam down on the bottom here. Not too much. This one, I will say, Christmas Past is closer to old school Christmas than country Christmas, now that I'm smelling this. This has apple in it, which I think, I think old school Christmas might have a little bit of apple in it, which is probably why I'm thinking that it's similar to. I'm getting pine. I'm getting a little bit of leaves. The pine in here is a little bit different than old school Christmas. Not completely super duper outrageously different, but just a little bit less potent. If you like old school Christmas, you'll like this scent. I'm not getting leaves really. It's just, it's, it's, if you like old school Christmas, and you know what that smells like, you would, it, this would be a safe purchase for you. I'll just leave it at that. Old school Christmas means a lot to me. So I'm happy I got that one in a big size. Cider cookies. Okay. Apparently this one hasn't been poured in years. So I jumped on to the bandwagon of buying a bigger size. This is apples, cake, donut, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. Okay. Let's see here. I am getting in here, reading the notes again. It's a different apple than is in this last one, this harvest, um, no, which one is my apple one? It's a different apple than is in this one right here. This, this sugar chestnut's an apple butter. It's a different apple. Not as sweet as that one is. This one, I'm getting caramel and sugar cookies, creamy, creamy caramel and creamy sugar cookies with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cake donut. This one was poured on October 27th. So the apples, the cake donut, this is going to be a creamy, rich caramel apple blend. It's not, it doesn't smell like a caramel apple because it really has a lot of richness to it with that donut and the sugar cookie. I like this blend. I can see why it is loved. Very much so. Okay, next is Basic Witch. Basic Witch. I'm pretty sure this was a new blend. You can already see the glam through the top here. Woo! Those beautiful that constellation of glitters there. Oh, look at that. It's like a disco ball. And then down on the bottom, you have a little bit of fun down there too. This one is Vanilla Latte. I can smell it already, just taking the lid off. Vanilla Latte, whipped coffee, roasted marshmallows, pecan waffles, and beach treats. Like, oh my God, I had to buy a big size of this. Like, come on. Beach treats, coffee, waffles. <laughs> this is me. So, yes, this is, I'm getting... Everything that's described in this scent, I'm getting in one whiff. It's beautiful, seamlessly blended together. You have the beach treats. It's right there in the front. Then you have that rich coffee. It's not It's not coffee house. It's not roasted coffee. It's not coffee bean. It's Dalgona, Dalgona coffee, which is whipped coffee. It has light, airy essence to it. It was really popular in COVID during shutdowns, you know, to make our coffee without going to the coffee shops. Um vanilla latte you have rich vanilla so it's like vanilla cold foam if you had vanilla cold foam which i know tiffany tiffany carries it has that it has that same vanilla essence as that oil does but it has a little bit of coffee to it and pecan waffles i'm just getting creamy from it the most dominant notes in here by far are the beach treats and the coffee so basic witch that's me <laughs> okay Next one here is Pumpkin Woods. Pumpkin Woods. Look at that here. And we have some glam on the bottom too. This one is Pumpkin Spice. Now, Pumpkin Spice and I are not always friends. I know I say that and I've said it a thousand times this fall because we're in pumpkin season, getting ready to segue into pine and peppermint season. But, listen, Pumpkin Spice, Sandalwood, Patchouli, tobacco my favorite 
Palo Santo and cold winter woods. I was very intrigued, first of all, by tobacco. I love tobacco blends. They're, they're gorgeous to me. They are, they're just, they're so classy to me. The fact that the pumpkin spice was added in here, I knew it wasn't going to be a problem because it's not going to be bakery pumpkin spice. I'm pretty sure my problem is with bakery pumpkin spice, not spicy pumpkin spice. So in here, look at that gorgeous there. This is a gorgeous blend. You get the patchouli mixed with pumpkin, mixed with sandalwood, mixed with, I don't know what cold winter woods is supposed to smell like, but this is, man, this is addictive smelling. If you've ever smelled the pumpkin and patchouli candle from Bath and Body Works, this is a grown-up version of that. You have pumpkin, you have patchouli, you have Palo Santo, you have tobacco, sandalwood. I like this. If you like that candle, you would like this one here. Um, this is good. This, I have to just smell it again. This is good. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love that one. Love it. Okay. Next, we have Jax. Jax. I think someone asked if Jax is named after Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy, and she said no, it's named after her son. I believe her son. And I was like, oh, I wish it was Jax Teller because he is my favorite television character ever. Sons of Anarchy is my favorite show ever watched even though there's a lot of ones up there to the top. Sons just is, it's a, it's a hard show to watch. If you've never watched it before, it's motorcycles and gangs and guns and sex and violence and everything that is not in my life, but it is a fantastically intelligently written show. And it's not for the faint of heart. There's a lot of, I mean, it's TVMA. Uh, it was on FX and it is, it's, it's, it's highly rated. It's one of the top shows, but I, you know, I love Jax Teller. I, I always, I mean, Charlie Hunnam, but you know what I mean? I always will. So Jax, look at that beautiful glitter on the top and even more fun on the bottom. This is wet autumn leaves. This one I had to buy just because of wet autumn leaves, moss covered in oak trees, moss, moss covered oak trees, cedar wood, hinoki smoke lingering in the distance. So Hinoki, if I remember correctly, I looked it up. It's, it's, a, it's a tree that's found in Asia. So it's a particular type of, it's going to have a particular type of odor when that wood is burned. Man. Another hard one to describe. Complex one to describe. It's smoky. But it's not wood smoke like the wood smoke oil uh the single oil it's it's not smoky marshmallow fireside smoky it's not bonfire it's it's smoky but it's a different type of smoky we don't have hinoki trees here in the united states that i know of i maybe we do i maybe i'm i mean i'm ignorant to it maybe i shouldn't say that but I, I looked, I'm pretty sure it's from Asia. So we're not going to really smell it and know what it smells like burning. So this is probably what I'm getting, if I had to guess. Wet autumn leaves. It has a, it has a nature vibe to it. This, this is like if you're walking out in nature and it's raining, a, a, a damp environment. Maybe a damp fall day. And you have, if you live in an area that has high humidity or a lot of water, you might have moss that's covering trees, which I grew up with in the east. Um, you would have wet leaves that are starting to decay in the, in the forest. And cedar. Love cedar. Cedar is one of my favorite woods. And smoke. But a different type of smoke. So this one has posed a challenge to me trying to describe this. I like this. It's relaxing. It's, this could be one that you melt during meditations. If you do that, um, even during bath time, it's just, it's just a little bit of, it's a little bit of different and it's, it's exotic and it's nice. I like that blend a lot. 
Glad I got a tub. Next one is Jon Snow. I had to get Jon Snow, one, because of Vivian. She told me Jon Snow is worth it, and two, because of Danny. Danny loves Jon Snow. It's been almost a year since Jon Snow has been offered. So I went for the tub. Never smelled it before. This is Palo Santo. Flannel sheets, creamy vanilla, and mint. Let's see. Oh, I see. I see. It is another tough one to describe. It's clean masculinity without being soapy or cologne. It's not, it's, it's soothing mint, creamy mint with just the slightest little bit of cooling, but not like you're sniffing menthol. It's not Vicks. It's not even peppermint. It's not strong like that. It's not bubble. Um, it's not chewing gum. It's not toothpaste. It's just a light little cooling sensation. Vanilla is there for sweetness. Flannel sheets. It has a little bit of a light, slight, slight big, um, laundry vibe to it. <sighs> Palo Santo is there for that masculinity. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. The girls were right. Try this one if you haven't. Oh, man, Tiffany, whoever developed this, if this was Tiffany or someone on her team, bravo, standing ovation. Yes. Good. I'm almost at a loss for words. Oh, Jon Snow. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay, next one. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this word, so it's either Meraxes or Meraxes, which, if I had to guess, is probably from Game of Thrones. Um, not quite sure, so I think I'm the only person in the world, my husband and I, who have not seen Game of Thrones, so I don't know all the characters and stuff. Um, but this one here, gorgeous color, these notes. Sweet plum, saffron, black peppercorns, cashmere cream, and sweet vanilla roasted pine cones. I'm pretty sure this is plum and peppercorns, which was a regular blend of hers from a few pre-orders ago that I absolutely fell in love with. It's so gorgeous. Pretty sure it's this and blended with cashmere cream and pine cones. Let's see. I think so. It might not be exactly the same measurements as plum and peppercorn, but this is not quite as strong as plum and peppercorn, but you get those plum vibes. I'm getting the rich cashmere cream and a little bit of pine cone. That's what really sets this apart to be an independent blend from, from pine cone, uh, plum and pine cone, plum and peppercorns, excuse me. You have the creaminess of the cashmere cream and you have the roasted pine cones. It creams it up just a, just the perfect amount. It's still sensual, it's earthy, it's mysterious. This this is this is a a, a complex blend. Another one. Oh, so good. Next one is smoked ginger snaps. I know this one was poured in an extremely limited, limited quantity for the last ready to ship. This is warm gingerbread spice. That's three gingerbread blends I've got this pre-order. Warm gingerbread spice, cardamom, charred wood, roasted pumpkin, and Tahitian vanilla. This one was poured on October 2nd. Mmm. It's not gingerbread bakery. Definitely not. It's just the spices. So, as, so warm gingerbread spice. You have your ginger and your clove 
and the other the other couple spices that are in gingerbread. A little bit of cardamom. So it's got chai vibes to it, but it's not tea. It's not like that, but it, it has those warming spices to it, which match very well with gingerbread, in my opinion. I'm not quite sure what Tahitian vanilla is supposed to smell like, but this has a little bit of a richness to it and a sweetness to it that I've never smelled before. I haven't smelled Tahitian vanilla, at least not to my knowledge. And a little, a little bit of wood. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is a gorgeous blend. I love that there's a little bit of glam on the bottom too. Love that one. See? Look at all these bad boys here. <laughs> Oh, man. And they're all the hard ones to describe, too, for the most part. Let's see what else I have down in here. The Perfect Storm. The Perfect Storm. Sea spray, ocean water, citrus, damp leaves, dark amber, and oak moss. This was one that was on my list, and I took it off, but put it back on because I think I saw so many orders of yours that had the perfect storm in it. And it helped that there was leaves and amber and oak moss. This, <sighs> sea spray and ocean water sometimes can be overwhelming. Sometimes I don't really gravitate to oceanic or even salty Sierra blends because they can be just too outright salty to me. This is done beautifully. You get a little bit, you know, like you're at the beach. I've been at the beach many times in my life and I've never been hit in the face with something like salty sea air, the oil. It's always just a little bit of essence in the air of something salty and maybe sometimes something stinky because we're at the beach. You know, it's, it's not, it's, it's, and of course, then smelling the water and the seaweed and this is fresh. It's clean. It is a little bit of citrus, but you have a little bit of outdoors with the, with the leaves. A little bit of oak to make it a hair masculine, but not cologne. And amber to make it mysterious. Thank you, thank you to the many of you who ordered this and influenced me to try it. So much that I got it in a tub. <laughs> okay. Christmas trees and cream. We talked about this one already. Salty lavender. Oh man, this one has been talked about like crazy. I think I thought I heard a bell ringing, but I didn't. Okay, salty lavender. We're almost done here. This is sweet lavender, salty sea air, and toasted marshmallow. So I know there's salty sea air in this, but I just got done talking about it. However, I think it was meant to be because my husband the other day notified me that he really likes the smell of lavender. And I thought, well, I don't really have a lot of lavender stuff in my collection. I have mostly bedtime bath or, you know, the, the, the baby bath that, that's the chamomile and the lavender from Johnson & Johnson. And I have a little bit of here and there, but nothing really in a big quantity until now so it must have been to be meant to be that i ordered this this is a beautiful lavender if you've ever smelled lavender and coconut milk it has that comforting lavender that i get from lavender and coconut milk without the coconut milk part of course it has sweetness from marshmallows with just a very, very, very mild touch of Salty Sea Air, which I want to thank Tiffany so much for doing that because Salty Sea Air, like I said, can be too overpowering in a blend. But I like that she gave just enough of a touch to give it a little bit of fresh vibe, but didn't take away from the gorgeousness and the integrity of that sweet lavender. This is absolutely divine. Love this blend. I think I have... Let's see what I have down in here. I think I have one more. One more item here. Just making sure. Yep. Okay, 
box is empty. Last one. Modern Farmhouse. Tonka and Oud Vanilla Birch in Egyptian Amber. I've purchased this one before. This is poured on October 6th. This one is, it's different. Egyptian Amber is a different type of amber. But Tonka and Oud, it just, it, it gives a, it's just, this is a, this is a very, it's not for everybody's scent. It's popular, you know, with those of us that like these types of earthy blends, but it's not, it's not one that I, I see get a lot of love in the group. But this one is amber heavy and oud wood, which has a mysteriousness to it. I love this blend. It's very strong. I have it over in my melting tote and I use it sparingly because it is very strong. So that's my haul. I have one more sample to talk about. We have Wish a Witch Woods. I don't remember the notes, it's in Wish a Wish Woods. But I'm really bad at, at describing scents that I don't know the notes to. It's creamy though, it has maybe a little bit of pine in it. It might not, but I'll just, I think I, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it ill justice and not describe it correctly to you guys, so. That's my most recent haul from Teddy Bees. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful to you, uh, to those of you that uh, need a little bit of extra help with uh, how some of these will smell. Um, if you're going to be participating in the Ready to Ship on Saturday, be ready when she opens. It's Mad Hunger Games. Uh, have your list ready. Be prepared to lose things unless you're going in and out for just one item. Most of the time you are able to grab that one. Um, but um, if that type of anxiety isn't for you, then uh, in January sometime to be announced, there will be the next pre-order most likely. Um, so I hope everyone, as I said at the beginning of the video, has a beautiful Thanksgiving and this beautiful long weekend. Um, if you have to work tomorrow, I hope you have great leftovers if you have leftover food. Um, and I hope everyone has fun shopping and spending time with family. So thank you so much for watching my video and supporting my channel. It's been such a pleasure to get to know a lot of you over the last two years. So thank you so much and I'll see you soon.